Fuck you guys. You're a very nice young man. We appreciate you. Got positive vibes out here in Huntington Beach, I gotta say. Good vibes. Hey guys, what's going on? James Klug here. And I'm Fog City Midge, and we're here to see if we can get people to agree with Trump on immigration. Let's do it. Agree with Trump on immigration? Good stuff, keep Americans safe. Got a thumbs up. What are our thoughts on Trump's stance on immigration? <laughs> you don't believe that a million people coming across our southern border illegally into our country every single year is a crisis? I'm talking about there is a crisis at our southern border where we have people, humans, drugs, children, uh, guns being trafficked across our southern border, and we don't know everyone that's coming into our country. You don't think that that's a crisis? No, because it's not a crisis. You don't even know everybody that's in the country, number one. And number two... I don't know how we would physically know everyone that's in the country. Not all of them come from Mexico. They come from all walks of life. Of course, there's a lot of people that come here on airplanes and have visa overstays. Absolutely, this happens a lot. But a tremendous amount of people are coming across our southern border, so I think a lot of people focus on that with the immigration debate uh, right. because it is a big problem. We don't even have any idea how many people are actually in our country illegally, right? And initially they were saying it was 11 million, now they're saying it's 22 million. It could be as high as 30, 35 million people. No, we don't have no idea. No. There's people coming here trafficking drugs, human beings. That's why it's a problem. The statistics show that these quote unquote illegal immigrants have a lower crime rate than the existing population. That, that, that those are crimes that shouldn't even exist. We're trying to prevent people from actually making the dangerous journey up north through Mexico to our southern border. That's one thing we're actually trying to prevent because it's incredibly dangerous. Two thirds of women are, uh, are, are violently abused and, and one third are, are sexually abused. This is pretty nasty stuff and a lot of people are actually bringing um, children, women and children, sex trafficking across our southern border. Now, we can talk about visa stays all we want, but there, that doesn't take away from the fact that there is a major issue at our southern border. Let's say numbers. La, la, let's last, let's, let's, numbers. okay, let's look at the numbers. That sounds great. Last eight years in Texas, we had 202,000 illegal immigrants in our prison systems. Okay, that is an insane number. Over 500 homicides, what 24, what 20, 24. What it relative to it, it, it doesn't the matter. The other population? You think you think yes, those people that, that have you think yes, one of those you think one of those family members of those 500 uh, uh, murdered individuals cares about what percentage it is when someone murdered their their, their child, their sister that On wasn't even supposed to be in the country. The national interest, which is what we're talking about, taking my tax money and shoving it on a insane project yeah, yeah. for his politics. Paying to have all those people in prison or in jail systems and everything. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to talk but, about uh, the economics but if of it. they're illegal immigrants, we know they're, they're the minute they get out, they ship them across the border. I mean, you know, I have no problem with that. Okay. In fact, that's why. So you'd rather, you'd rather wait till they come here and then they kill someone and then we take care of it? So to, to say that, you know, we have other issues and, and we should be focusing on, on reducing illegal immigration when it comes to uh, visa overstays, when it comes to other parts of the world, we absolutely should. And we are. In 2017, the visa overstays in 2017, five months after, uh, uh, five, five months after they do all the recordings for visa overstays, five months after that number reduced by 40%. Okay, that's Department of Homeland Security information. So the people that are coming here, visa overstays, the people that are coming here on planes, a large number of them actually return home and it continues to decrease and what we're seeing when it comes to illegal immigration across the southern border is one we don't know who these people are we are pro legal immigration very pro legal immigration right. but we don't know who these people are and they don't return home the way visa overstays do right there's already bad people here and who are we to so, say like so the what people you're coming saying is because there's bad people we shouldn't have a say in who comes across our southern border no i'm saying us americans we're trying to keep other people from migrating, no. but we're bad ourselves. True. What is he doing? You're agreeing with Trump, but Trump is putting them in camps. If you dilute the population with people that kill less than the average, you're better off. You decrease your probability. So your whole argument is that it's, we should just dilute our population because immigrants are somehow better people, more noble, less likely to make crimes, and harder workers, that we should dilute, dilute the population of America. Why not? That's your argument. When people come across our southern border, if they are apprehended by Border Patrol, if they are caught, then they are brought to a detention facility. It's not a concentration camp. If, 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 they, if, they are if, detention if, facilities. They are fed, fed and they're well, fed very well. Three square no, meals a day, better in many places. So when you say finish a wall, 
wall. Uh, the no, wall. The wall has wall no. That's, that's incorrect. No. That it wall is isn't stopping anybody. Uh, actually, that's been disproven time and time again. Walls have proven to work when it comes to El Paso, Texas, Arizona, San Diego. There's been uh, the reduction in apprehensions in areas where they put a wall. Yeah. Is is about, one about, tenth of so what the, it was before. The area where I live in, which is San Isidro, which is right across the border from you know San Diego into TJ, yeah. I've witnessed many people jumping over the fence. So okay. hope. Aside from you, you said fence. Why did you say fence? It's a fence. Fence isn't a wall. Yeah. You guys. You're a very nice young man. We appreciate you. I can't I would rather what? wait till an illegal immigrant crosses the border, kills someone, and then gets deported instead of just deporting him to begin with. So there's no homicide at all. That's your stance. because you cannot differentiate between that homicidal. Why not prevent them in the beginning and make them actually because vet them when they're coming most across? Of them, the vast majority of them, the 99% of them, are hardworking individuals. Excellent. I, I, and we understand that. And we okay. understand that. And if you and that's understand why we that. They should come here legally and actually be vetted to come into this country, not just coming oh, here willy-nilly. I have no problem with that. When it comes to people coming across the southern border, why, why do they come with women and children? Why do they do all this stuff? Well, it actually increases their chance of getting into the country. Okay, 2017 to 2018, we saw a 325% increase in unaccompanied children. Okay, a lot of these children are coming, there's children coming to the southern border, 30%. I did a pilot study, 30% of the children that are coming to the southern border aren't even biologically related to the individual that they're with. That's disgusting. Okay. There's people literally, they're either they're kidnapping the children to take them across, or their parents just voluntarily giving them their, their child to a random stranger because in hopes of a better life for that person. Exactly. And, that's, and, that's, and that's very sad. But there's terrible things happening to these children when they're making this journey. The, the, the border fence is like very weak. Literally, you could step over it in some places. Mm -hmm. And so the, these are the areas that are being replaced by President Trump. It's a high-tech wall, so they have lights on it. They have video cameras. It can alert border security when somebody is is coming near it. So they know who's who's coming near the border. But obviously, a fence is not going to do the same job as a 30-foot wall with steel beams that cannot be climbed easily. Let's do some basic math here. How much is the wall? Well, I know he stole three billion for it from the military. Just throw out a number. If you I want. really don't know. Okay, great. So 20, 20, 20 to 30 billion dollars. Okay, 20 to 30 billion dollars. Let's let's look at the most conservative estimates on illegal immigration. That's how much it costs us annually. Not to mention, I mean, when it comes when it comes to people coming here illegally, I mean, you'd rather wait until they actually cause a crime before we send them back. I strongly disagree with that. I would rather know who is coming here in the beginning, vetting them and allowing them through at that point. When they say, oh, they come here and they take our jobs, right? It, it largely affects uh, inner city communities for low wages. Yeah, that's true. If you drive off a freeway, what do you see on the corner of the freeway? What do you see, like, like being like, about homeless people? Yeah. Okay. What do you see, right? A white man, right? A Caucasian man, right? That's not, next that's one, not necessarily next true. One, what do you see? An Hispanic, for example, selling roses, right? Pushing, at least selling something, uh, at least selling something. I mean, it's not just a bunch I of mean, white homeless that's people. Like that's you, you can almost use that to, to say we should build a wall, prevent more people from coming through until we take care of Americans at home. You know, if you want to go ahead and close off the border and make a 60-foot fence, whatever you want, it you're not. it's not going to change the fact they're always going to be a way to be able to get that system back up and running. I, I, I totally agree, right? There's always going to be somehow, some way, people are going to find a way when they really want to do something. And that's the thing, like you were even saying, people are still going to get over the border wall, even if we build it. But if it stops 99% of people coming over, then that 1% we can deal with. What the Trump administration is advocating for <laughs> is having people seek asylum at their bordering country, not coming, I mean, what's wrong with Mexico? Not coming all the way from Central America, all the way to our border to seek asylum. Okay, they're, they're, they're seeking asylum at our border. The overwhelming majority are seeking asylum at our border because they know they can abuse our asylum laws. So what the Trump administration is actually moving it to is they have to seek asylum at a neighboring country, which a lot of people are very in favor of because these people are making very dangerous journeys up north to our border. It's unnecessary and, it, and they can seek asylum at their, their neighboring country and get out of their country. He's also deported less illegal immigrants than uh, Barack Obama as well. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. You know, that's the usual game. He's about one third less so far than Barack Obama was. Uh, right now he's average. Right. Barack Obama had eight years and he has. I'm taking the average between his total. His total is 2.75 million people. That's 345,000 per year. Donald Trump's right around 240,000 per year. 
actual deportations? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's because they got him so tied up in court. But people come into the country, if they're apprehended, then they have to wait for processing so that their asylum claim can be heard. And then they're released into the country and given a court date, at which time 95% of people don't return for their court date, which because it's usually several years out. And so several years from now, they don't necessarily know where they're going to be living. Yeah. They don't know whether or not their asylum is even going to be granted. Well, so a lot of people Exactly. Do you agree with that? So again, I don't. Like, like I was but why do you disagree with that? I, no, I'm, I, I just don't agree. But, but why do you disagree with my, that? But my thing is, for me... Well, no, no, really quick. Tell us, tell us why you disagree with that. Point. I just don't. Because, because country. think about it, think about it. I, when I, think, I, think I think about you it, possibly when, don't when know was, why born, and you just don't want to agree with when me. I was, so if you were born in a different country, how, how, how much control do you have over that? you not, oh, I'm going to be born in the United States. I'm going to go I'm gonna be born in Mexico. Uh, excellent. So, yeah, so, 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 go travel somewhere legally instead of illegally. I don't understand the problem with that. You're not getting what I'm saying. You're not getting what I'm saying. We gotta wrap this up, you guys. Fox City Midge. It's been quite a day. Wow. We had a, we, we and we got quite a crowd over here. Thank, thank you all. For thanks. Thanks watching. for uh, yeah, yeah yeah. Thanks for coming. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Good times. Build the wall. People have paid thousands of dollars, right? They're still waiting to get in. Yeah. Get in line. You don't just come on in and yeah, I'm here. Like, no, get yeah. in line, dude, like everybody else. Yeah. Um, jump in? Actually, why, why it, can we? Your face we're, like, you should take your hat off and your glasses. Like, why are you, why are you worried about what she's wearing? That's yeah. weird.